I mentioned in one of my previous videos about Mia's virtual vanity and in one of her videos she mentions the shoddy setup that she has for her camera. I wish you could see behind the camera here and what I have going on to hold it up outside. It's pretty shoddy. I think I, I reach her level of awesomeness when it comes to budget builds and budget making a channel. Uh, shout out to Mia's virtual vanity. I love her channel. I think it's on this side. Uh, so check that out, click that link. I think you're going to love her just as much as I do. And I hope that you get a chance, if the weather is changing in your area, to get outside and enjoy it. Soak up the sun, get that vitamin D, and take advantage of these gorgeous days that, at least in the Midwest, we don't get very many of. So it's a gorgeous day outside and this is the perfect place to do my reflections on days four through seven of the Whole30 diet that I am, I am trying out. And the book says, days four through seven, kill all the things. Day four dawns and you tentatively step out of bed expecting to feel like you took a headshot from Thor's hammer. Instead, your brain is surprisingly clear, your limbs feel functional, this could be a good day. You walk into the kitchen upon being greeted by the smiling face of your significant other. Aww. You are suddenly overcome with the desire to punch them in the face for being so darn cheerful this early in the morning. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have that. There's a little, a little... Um, box here that says eat all the things you may all know you may also notice a desire to eat all the things in this stage too that's pretty common as your body demands sugar it's been running on and your brain is craving the sweet salty fatty reward you're used to feeding it focus on making each of your three meals a day a little bit bigger including a mini meal if you need to see <clears throat> wow we're gonna get to why I can't read this. It's 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 here in the book. Okay, let's try this again. Focus on making your three meals a day a little bit bigger, including a mini meal if needed to see you through. And use your craving versus hunger test on page 129 to help you distinguish between the actual hunger and your brain throwing a tantrum. My brain is throwing a tantrum, but it isn't making me hungry. I actually had two events last week, one of which had complimentary alcohol. I didn't call it free because nothing in life is free, ever. If, if you see something that's free, somebody paid for it. They're giving it to you complimentary. Nothing in life is free, not even the air you breathe. Plants exert energy to create the air that you breathe, so nothing in life is free. But it may be complimentary. I passed up complimentary drinks. I'm sure you're all thinking I'm, I'm quite ill. Maybe I am. But I passed up the complimentary drinks and then I had a rock concert, a blues rock concert that I went to the next night with a dear friend who surprised me with tickets that she had left over and she contacted me and asked me to be her date to the rock show and I was like, hell yeah, are you kidding? Of course, I'm always ready to rock. And we went to this awesome show uh, for a guy that I've never heard of, a blues rock guy, but he's freaking phenomenal. And I guess he's kind of a big wig in the blues industry, which I don't follow, but the show was amazing the whole band was amazing it was an incredible night we had awesome seats it was it was fantastic and I skipped the drinks totally skipped the drinks but I didn't feel hungry I was at both those events I was very busy didn't feel hungry it felt like I was eating enough didn't feel like killing all the things either but that maybe that's because my friends were my support network and they came through even though they didn't know that I needed some support to get through the kill all the things days I was flying high on friendships and fun and didn't feel like killing all the things. It says, congratulations, you made it to day four. Over the next two days, prepare yourself for the overwhelming urge to kill all the things. Your kids will forever be working on your last nerve. The way co-workers walk, talk, chew, and breathe will annoy you and shipper cashiers and baristas will cower to your crankiness. I don't think anyone cowered to my crankiness over these days, but I think I was lucky. Your brain won't be happy when you withhold your previous generous rewards of super sweet, salty, and fatty junk foods, and an unhappy brain is a stressed out and anxious brain. Not to mention your hormones are desperately trying to keep up with your new food choices and your gut is trying to heal. You've had a headache for the last three days. I didn't really, didn't have a headache, but I've, I felt like I've been in a fog, hence I can't read the book. 
and we'll get to that a little bit later in days six and seven. This too shall pass. Beg your spouse, children, parents, and co-workers for patience and forgiveness as nicely as you can, preferably before you tell them to stop breathing out loud. Take a deep breath, eat some sweet potato, and remind yourself of why you took on the whole 30 in the first place. We promise you'll feel better soon. So my, my days four and five were not terrible. They were fill, full of fun stuff, and uh, I skipped the alcohol and stuck to the plan. Didn't feel like killing all the things, didn't feel like eating all the things, but day six and seven, day six and seven I'm, I'm gelling with here. It says, I just want a nap. It's day six and you've made it through your last phase without smiting anyone. Hurrah! The thing is, today you don't feel like you could smite anyone if your life depended on it. It's 10 a.m. and all you can think about is crawling under your desk for a cat nap. As the day drags on, your desk is morphing from a hardwood surface to a snugly warm pillow right before your eyes. You hit the gym in a daze of wonder and fall asleep in child's pose. Did anyone notice? You hold off crawling into bed until the reasonable hour of 8 p.m. only to drag yourself up 11 hours later feeling more rested than you did the day before. We know exactly what you're thinking. For the love of Oprah, I thought this Whole30 thing was supposed to make me feel better. Isn't eating like this supposed to increase my energy levels? Yes, in the long run. See, you've been reliant on sugar for energy for a long time because all of the muffins, mocha lattes, and junk foods you've been eating, you've trained your body to need sugar every few hours to function. Now, your body can run very well on fat as fuel, but your mitochondria, the cellular powerhouses, need time to learn how to use and wow, how to use body and dietary fat to power you, which means you're stuck in this limbo where you're eating where you aren't eating the energy you know how to run on and you're not good at using the energy you've got on hand. Studies show that the process of fat adaption, the ability to use fat as fuel, actually starts just a few in just a few days. It starts in just a few days, but it takes weeks to fully ramp up. The good news is that the people generally see. I need a nap. I so need a nap. I can't read this. The good news is that people generally experience this switch by the second week on the program. So if you can hold out just a bit longer, you'll reap major benefits. We'll see. Besides, you could probably use a day off from the gym anyway. I don't go to the gym. The next part is days eight or nine. I'm not quite through day nine yet, so when I get through day nine, hopefully I'll get an update on uh, line sooner. So, the dumbness, the stupidness that comes with the diet, I'm totally experiencing that. I had a meeting with some important businessmen and some important IP folks and I said some stupid stuff that I would never have said before. I'm a huge car nut and I called my friend's challenger a Camaro. I did that. I blame the diet. Totally blame the diet. I would never have done that before. I am feeling pretty good though overall. I do need a nap and I feel very tired but I don't feel like killing all the things. I don't feel like eating all the things, except peanut butter maybe at 2 a.m. I found a meme online that shows um, a raccoon running away with a bottle of peanut butter, and I love peanut butter, and I have a classmate that loves peanut butter too, and I sent her a copy of the meme because that's how I'm feeling. I would like to binge on peanut butter, but I haven't. I've stuck to the diet, I've stayed off the scale, uh, which is killing me. I really want to get on the scale and to see the results. My clothes do feel looser. I'm very thirsty. I don't know if you guys have noticed this when you change diets. I am quite thirsty. I'm pounding water left and right. Maybe it's the change of, of seasons here in the Midwest. Maybe, uh, maybe it's the diet. I've also noticed too, like my gums. My gums, there's a lot of space now between my gums and my teeth and food is constantly getting stuck in there. I never had that before, so I'm blaming the diet for that. Leave your comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are on all of this and if you're making any changes to your dietary life and how it's going. As you live the dream this week, I hope that you be the change that you wanna see and rock on.